doors are closing. The installation is something that we've where we've tried to create what it would be it might be like uh, to have Alzheimer's and what that would do to your oral environment, what you hear. An installation dealing with three things. The idea of how people with dementia perceive sound, um, to how they are, how we can think about empathy in terms of sound and, and our actions creating sort of reactions in regards to sound. And three, as architects, it gives us the opportunity to test materials and how certain materials work with sound. For this exhibition, we use two different types of speakers. One is omnidirectional and one is highly directional. Uh, these speakers are mounted onto um, rotatable wooden timber panels and visitors are able to um, rotate these panels, uh, directing the sound and reflecting the sounds in uh, different surfaces in this exhibition. This uh, creates uh, kind of like a confusing uh, sound feel which is unique for each visitor. It gave me a sense into how people who are living with dementia really kind of felt and what their daily experience could be like, which is very hard for anyone uh, who is not uh, living with dementia to be able to try to empathize with. They are saying, some of them are saying like, uh, the, the sounds are really disorienting, which is the whole purpose of the exhibition. So the, I guess the purpose of the exhibition has been met. We, we now we know how horrible it is, what can we do to make it better? What, in public, what can we design into public spaces to make them much more appropriate for people who uh, have dementia and need to, to use them? We, we want to challenge people, companies, organisations to take risk and really say that it's worth investing money in an experiential type outcome to try and um, change the way we currently think about sensory and cognitive impairments.